Hello fellow wasers, welcome back. It's good to have you. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Every little helps. So, this one, getting into being made redundant twice during the pandemic. I'm sure there's other people that are worse off than me. May have had it more than twice, but twice for me. One in the middle and one just a week ago. But as I always say, there's a positive in every negative. And this video is not necessarily about that, but it's just getting into the feelings of being made redundant twice during a pandemic. But I am rather lucky. So it's not all doom and gloom. Let's get into this one, shall we? If you've been made redundant, don't see it as a negative all the way. You know, you've been made redundant for a reason. You haven't been sacked. If you're sacked, you're good bad at your job. In some cases. Or you've been managed out. If you're made redundant, you actually weren't that bad at your job. It's just the company can't afford you anymore. They don't have a place for you on the books. I do get into a bit of the budgeting and finance side of the business. I do understand it. I did see some things coming. Which didn't make it a shocker. Other than the first time and that was definitely a shocker. I worked my ass off at that place. And they ended up letting me go, so you know. You can work hard and not get where you need to be. Another story though. Um, but don't always see it as your fault. It could just be a mixture of different things and a pandemic is really hard for a company to get through. And they got to look at the longevity of the business, shareholders, everything like that. Not just you. you might feel like it's only you, but there's a lot more going on in the background. Oh. So just bear that in mind, really. And let's get into the next bit of this conversation. When I was first made redundant, it was a lot worse than being made redundant right now. There wasn't really any jobs around. So it took me a long time to find another job. So one of the positives out of this one is the world is coming out of the pandemic. There is a lot more jobs out there. And I've already had plenty of leads. So that's one positive. The other positive was that when I lost my other one, it did take me three months, but I found a job. I know I've been made redundant from it, but you know, it's still a positive. It was still a new environment for me to work in. It was a different industry and something new. And we all need that once in a while. And with different industries, that adds to my CV. So that's also positive on its own, really. But I was quite lucky to find this job. I was on my last straws as it were and so I found it so I am grateful to the time I spent there I'm grateful that they give me an opportunity it's just the way it goes really with my role I work in middle management and with middle management you don't always need them around senior management and lower working staff are your bare minimum you require so the middle management can be taken out. Middle management is to do a role in a business. So that whole like middle management isn't going to go forever. It's just during their downtime. That's what will go first or what they will look at getting rid of. And it's just a place that I sit within. You earn good money in middle management. You do a very varied role and you end up building a very I guess specialist skill set is where I'd put it I guess not many people have it and that's what is a plus side I guess and with that I guess the lower ranking staff they are specialists at the role they do so they're a network engineer very specialist in networking if they're a server engineer very specialist in server IT sport you could be specialist in that if you're tier 3 and above um, whereas senior management normally full of uni grads people who haven't done that lower ranking apprenticeship role they haven't been in the midst of it and they've just learned what they know out of books so that's where some of the senior roles come from some of them have worked their way up through the ranks which I will end up doing I didn't go to uni so I will end up working my way up but 
middle management is basically where you'll normally see me sit basically in that area of have a varied skill set from can do the senior role to can do everyday stuff within the business so it's a downer but with that being said though they, there's always positives you know it plays on your mind can i pay the mortgage things like that with my redundancies luckily they're quite good because i have three month notices so i guess paid with my family which is another bonus and positive three months with the kids with the girlfriend family time and you can't put a price on that oh life memories that's the way i put it but i guess yeah if you're in the same boat if you think the same's gonna happen to you just try and look for the positives in it don't always just you know get worried by that can i pay the bills because it'll just drag you down at that point you drag down you're no good to anyone so with that being said i'll end the vlog here maybe pick it up again at some point see you today guys peace